Two men dead. Keyless and Alec. Good swordsmen. They were buried with their blades. Honored and hidden, of course, so no Fremen could take them and their water. <laughs> we were ambushed in a rocky outcropping out in the desert. The damned Tardauka tracked us and gunned for our thopter as we were landing for a rest. Kilus died from a stray round, ironically, through the skull. A quick and merciful death. We landed and quickly disembarked with our Fremen guide, a woman named Ayala. She led us into some rocks as our thopter was destroyed by a rocket barrage. <sighs> the Sardauka came for us and attacked us without mercy. To my shock, Alec managed to down a Sardauka with a lucky strike. The white-clothed terror trooper crumbled in blood. I must admit, I felt proud. Then, the Sardauka... Those damned Imperial hounds, they stabbed him. All of them shoved their blades into his gut and cut him down, moving ahead towards us. We only survived due to a nearby worm spooking the car, and because Ayla had planted some sort of bomb, dropped them like flies. We fled into the chaos and rushed to the shelter, where I record this now. Uh, how could the Emperor do this to us? House Atreides is a noble house, a good house. It seems our Imperium is more rotten than I first suspected. Our people, our very government is under attack. Not by a man, no. But by time and decay. Lieutenant Antonio signing off. I don't know if there will be a next report.